Hello everybody. The title of this series is the Complete Queen Amidala Style Book. And what we're going to be doing is looking at all the different wardrobes Queen Amidala wore in Episode 1, Phantom Menace. Now there were about six or seven different wardrobes and they all had what I'll call official names. You have the throne room robe, the lilac visitation robe, the Senate robe, the foreign residence robe, the traveling robe, and the jubilation dress. All right, the garment that we're going to be talking about today is called the parade gown or parade dress. Sometimes it's referred to as the jubilation dress or the celebration dress. Different names. It's all basically for the same thing. And basically, she wore this just the one time at the very end. She wore this gown at the celebration following the defeat of the Trade Federation. Of course, uh, they had a massive parade. And she was there with all the dignitaries and, and pretty much the whole cast of the film, basically. She was basically standing around the whole time. Yeah, she took a few steps here, a few steps there. For example, to give the guy uh, his award. But basically, she was just sort of standing there posing like she was on a red carpet. As I look at this dress, you could easily see someone like Jennifer Lopez wearing this at, say, like the Met Gala in the United States. Yeah, it has that type of vibe to it. Of course, she's wearing this big long cape, so you don't get to see her shoes. I mean, I would love to have seen what kind of shoes she was wearing. At any rate, it's a beautiful gown. It comes with a very extensive cape. The gown is certainly less formal than some of the other gowns we've been talking about in this series. Apparently it has some Naboo royal emblems going down the front. I can't say that I can specifically see them, but that's what they say in the promotional materials. There are also silk petals sewn into the cape, and they're meant to resemble large flowers. Also, obviously there's a very conspicuous fan behind her. And that's supposed to represent an acknowledgement of the past, so they say. And apparently the ancient royal fashion represents continuity among the Naboo. Also, it's noted that she's wearing only minimal jewelry in this particular look. So when they designed this gown, they were looking for something a little less flamboyant than the other garments that we've seen in the series. And they had the intention of creating something that was very light and beautiful with the feeling of a wedding dress. And certainly as you look at it, it certainly gives off those wedding dress vibes. The garment was sewn and dyed completely by hand and you can see all that detail work that went into it. The climax of this scene and essentially the final moment of the film is when she hands this object, this device, this medal, this trophy, whatever you want to call it, to boss Rugard Nas. And it wasn't really clear whether this thing had a name or anything like that. And of course, with everything Star Wars, everything has a name and a backstory. So as part of my due diligence, yeah, I had to look up exactly what this uh, contraption was. And it has a name. It's called the Globe of Peace. And just reading from the Star Wars Complete Visual Dictionary, if you're familiar with that. The Globe of Peace was a relic of the Naboo people. It symbolized the many years of peace on the planet Naboo. After the parade and Theed, T-H-E-E-D, to celebrate victory over the Trade Federation in the Battle of Naboo, Queen Padme Amidala gave the Globe of Peace to Boss Ruger Nas sealing the accord made between the Gungans and the Naboo. At this point, famously, Boss Ruga Nas holds this globe of peace above his head, and that's basically the end of the film. Likewise, guys, this brings us to the end of the series. I hope you enjoyed my discussion and observation about these lovely garments in the film. If you've missed any of the previous volumes, there's a link in the description box for the complete Queen Amidala style book. Just go check that out. You can see any of the other videos. So for now, bye-bye.